Today is update day in Zuba, and we have a whole bunch of new things to check out. So let's begin here. And you can get this free skin right here. Let's go. Okay, Major uh, Ursula, I'm pretty sure is the name. You know, the thing about the skin is we still don't have it. Like, we gotta get it as well. And it is not the only skin which released in this update right here. So let's see what happens. We have some gems. Maybe we get it. Maybe we don't. I don't know. Smash like so that you get the skin. And now let's see what happens here. All right, starting off, uh, starting off strong yeah for sure 753 gems is crazy but let's continue here and just see what happens because fine i mean maybe that just was a test you know maybe it was a test to just see if we're capable of spending a few gems and actually getting this skin and maybe the guard actually won't appear from now on all that much all right come on five door number five there you go, we got something decent. I'm pretty sure, technically speaking, the best thing that he can get out of this is more or less a card pack, but you know what? That was just a regular bronze card pack. It wasn't that crazy, all right? So let's see what we get out of this. There you go. Okay, and uh, so far, so bad, honestly, because the guard appeared, and what? Are you serious right now? Okay, the jump from 753 to, eight to 900 is not even that bad, but still, I'm getting out of here, man. That was not it right there. But you know what is pretty good? All right, Frank, card pack. Woo -hoo -hoo! Let's go. That was like three cards right there. Yes. And what's my guy guard doing? He's getting crushed. No. That's, uh, that, would, I wouldn't want that to be me, honestly. So they also released a space event here because this update is all about space and, uh, space skins and space goodies right here. And you can even get a, uh, black ring for free, which I'm going to show you in just a second. You can play Ursula Major over here and get some fine rewards. But let me show you how to get a free black crate. So they just released this banner today that I took a screenshot of. So let's see what it is all about here. Celebrate the International Day of Human Space Flight with a collection of outer space skins basically and uh what you have to do is you have to collect all these three skins and then you get the black crate here as well so we're also gonna find out basically how to get the new skins here because they're available in the store somewhere around there we're gonna see just how much they cost and stuff and we are gonna get them today guaranteed and this is uh, kind of the selection that you have to have i really miss this type of stuff i have really missed this all right we haven't had a skin collection and then you get a reward right after stuff we haven't had this in a while and i'm so glad to see that it is back we'll also be sent uh, to inbox a few days after the promotion ends of course and this lasts for about two days which is plenty of time so let's get back to the game wait hold up a second we have some more goodies here what do you mean oh another card pack if we get like a lot of cards out of these that's awesome okay it was duplicates this time but as you can see that can be like three cards or something which is crazy because as you can see here in the grand prize or something the, the cards don't have different rarities and stuff here it's 61 out of 128 like whatever card it is it's still gonna add up all right as long as it's something that we didn't have already so this is really good here we gotta complete chapter 01 or something like that because this thing is ending in 13 days i remember looking at this like a, a short amount of time ago and it's saying like 50 days or something crazy like that but now it's 13 days that is just absurd all right store what do we have in store for us get it all right we have the skins so, if you didn't get Ursula Major, you can get her now for like 6 bucks with a 2.9 times value. Who calculated that? And, uh, it is a, an amazing skin, though. It is a really good skin. And then you also have these newer ones, which are a little bit better, but they're all amazing. Don't get me wrong. Alright, Astronaut Max, Alien Ruby, so let's see how this goes here, some uh, coins here, because you just can't go wrong with that, let's also get the random 4 star card, because it is going to be worth it, there you go, fair enough, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what that card was all about, to be perfectly honest, but as long as it's a 4 star, it's awesome, okay, it's harder to get than the 1 stars, that's for sure, so let's get the skins, okay, very important thing to do, if we go on over to the personal tab, I'm pretty sure that they're right here. And yep, Astronaut Max and Alien Ruby. You guys comment down below which one's better. But now let's claim the one that I think is better for now first. And I personally think Astronaut Max is a better skin. <laughs> nah, I'm serious. I think he's awesome. I think he's better because the animations on the skin are uh, as good as Alien Ruby. Don't get me wrong, the animations are basically as good. There's nothing too different here in terms of the quality of the animation. It's just that it's, it's a cuter looking skin. I don't know, it's cooler. Alright, this one just doesn't look like Zuba to me, but it is sick, it is insane, and there is surely a demographic that wants to see this skin right here. And uh, I'll say like a 50-50 in, in terms of me personally. Of course, it's an amazing looking skin here, but you already have a sick ruby skin, so why did they really need to add another one? But for Max, they didn't have an amazing Max skin, but now they did, and this is just, wow, this is... It's so beautiful, though. Can we upgrade him by any means? That would be kind of cool. And, uh, nah, we can't really upgrade him, unfortunately. That's kind of disappointing right there. But it is what it is. So, 
One more thing to do is to get Ursula Major, and then we can get the Black Crate there for free, which is gonna be sick. So what do we have to do here? We have to play an event match, pretty much, and we can also play Mary Ursula for some odd reason. It's just about Ursula here, not about the other new skins for some odd reason. But let's play this nonetheless! Hey, look at that, we're taking a little bath over here, and it is the space event after all. Let's go and, uh, whoa, that animation's so cool! It's such a nice animation! Yo, <laughs> it doesn't get old, it really doesn't, because all the most skins in this game don't have special animations and stuff. I wish they advertised this sort of stuff, you know? When the skin appears in the shop, kind of like Brawl Stars to be perfectly honest. I know I'm, I know I'm probably talking about that, but like, let's just think for a moment. I, I would have loved that they advertised like exactly what the skin brings to the table, because come on, come on, they, they gotta do something like that, you know what I'm saying? Just say that it has different weapon animations in game and stuff like that, or active animation, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm, I'm not saying to give it a rarity or something, okay, because the common skins exist and the legendary skin exists. But calling this a common skin is not okay. The change between a common and a legendary skin is just too dramatic to me. Like, this is an, uh, an epic skin, you know? Like an epic skin, basically. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's better than some legendary skins too. For some odd reason. I think it's that good. It's just that I wish it was something besides common. Like, this is not a common skin. This, uh, this is a, a really, really good skin. Alright? So let's see how this goes here. And the thing about the rarities too, they don't even associate them with any colors. Like they just appear in the game and the, the writing basically that says that it's a legendary or a common is the same. It's just the light blue. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about here. It's the light blue. And then nothing else. I wish they had different colors. At least make the commons gray and then make the legendaries yellow or something like that. That would make sense. A lot of sense. Or just make them golden or something. You know, make them feel more premium to them. Like Executioner Bruce. All that good stuff. All those good ones. Boom! Okay, that did not work. Hey, come back. Where are you going? And just make this one... I don't know. Like something purple. Because Epic is pink or purple, you know. It's, it's that colorway for every game. Every game. Something... That's epic is purple or pink. That's just how it goes and there's nothing wrong about it. All right, boom. No. Hey, wait up a second. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I don't even want to know who's in that barrel. I, okay, it's a Molly. Fair enough. She can't be that difficult to fight off, right? R right? Technically? Yeah, we're teaming, aren't we? <laughs> Let's go! Finally! This game has teaming. I'm so glad it does. Okay. You guys just fight each other, man. Just fight each other. There you go. Jade got the kill. Amazing stuff. Alright, and we're gonna be, uh... Oh, Jade is back! She's been resurrected. I see. I see how it is. Okay, we're gonna just... Guys, just fight each other, honestly. And we died! We actually died! I wanna see who wins this, though! I want. I genuinely wanna see. I'm on the Tony team right here, but you guys comment down below who you think wins and don't cheat! And, uh, who is gonna win, though? <laughs> no! Tony! Why? Tony, why did you have to lose to the Jade? Tony's such a bad character though, okay? Just keep that in mind. Tony's not a good character, right? It's not it. And you don't even get points. You get five points for getting a kill here if you're not using the, uh, an Ursula skin, basically. That is absurd. They should, should have just not included that at this point. That is so wrong. Look how good the skin looks as an artwork too. Because they really cooked here with the gradient effect from the yellow to the purple. They really did something that's genuinely sick. Like, it looks sick, alright? It looks sick. And so does this one over here. This one also looks amazing. Alright! What are we gonna do? We're gonna go to the store right here. And uh, we've played the skins yesterday. We're not gonna play both of them in the singular video as we did yesterday. Okay, there's no need to do that, right? If you wanna see both of them in action, just go ahead and check out yesterday's video. And then you're gonna see that, alright? Uh, like the beta tested version of the game. But this is the real deal right here. Okay, let's get some damn tokens as well for some reason. I don't know why we should be doing this right here. But these characters are genuinely insanely good. So getting some tokens for them will not hurt at all. Okay, boom, bam, bop, and pow. We can maybe get Finn to level 18 actually. That would be a life life saving change. And gold crate time. Let's see what happens. All the coins, fair enough. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Okay, there's something really wrong about this. We haven't claimed ranked rewards in ages, or event rewards, whatever you want to call them. Like, we haven't done this in a week, maybe more. It is, uh, it is really awkward to actually remember that this thing exists, because it does. Okay, wow. Wow, I wonder why we don't have blue tickets. It's not like we didn't play the game, because we have played the game as usual. It's just that I completely forgot about the screen, because it isn't advertised in the game. It doesn't even show up, you know, in your face, which is annoying, all right? In, in your face pop-ups are kind of annoying, but still, if there's something to claim there, then I don't mind. 
Ooh. Whoa! Gold crate for free! Whoa! Okay! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, what else do we have here? Another one of these? Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Just give me all the crates because that means we have a lot of tickets too, right? Technically. Yeah, 2,000 something. That's insane. Another free gold crate. That usually doesn't happen. That is very odd. Look at that. One of these. That's good. Okay. How many tickets have we? Oh, we have so many tickets. It's insane. Yo, what's with the Easter tickets? Can we even do anything with them? I don't think we can, but I, I would genuinely like to do something with these, you know, because they exist. Alright, 7,000 something. That was the most tickets we've ever gotten, and for good reason. Okay, can we spend the Easter ones, though? Let's take a look real quick. And we cannot. Okay, that's unfortunate. Let's go and just buy a gold crate here, because why not? And there you go. And then I feel like the gold crate is better than the gold toolbox. Maybe for progression, the gold toolbox is better, just because it has items, and items are sometimes more important than just a chance to get a character, but still. Gold crates are cooler because you can get a character, of course. And they're just, you know, they're just more dopamine. You know what I'm saying? What's Ruby doing to the guard? No! Man, I wish these had lore in them or something, but it's not like I've actually seen these pictures or whatever. Alright, guys, smash like, subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, and have an amazing day, Zoopsters!